bad unless you run and hide Cause we thugs for life, baby Asian pride What's poppin', you guys? It's your boy, Cap Back with another video Y'all, my last video upload I had millions and millions of comments And by millions, I definitely mean one about sucking off other characters that may have better tools than your main. And just because that may be true, you can't actually acknowledge the other character's strengths and or compliment another character in general. Listen, I don't know what out of my videos gave you the impression that my videos and the niggas who watch them are bitch ass nigga pussies, but we're not. Maybe in real life you might be able to say so, but behind these Chinese made screens, we're the toughest niggas on earth. So don't be coming over here with these soft ass little Debbie ass comments talking about glazing over another man or character, unless you're talking about glazing him up like an 8 a.m. hot and ready Krispy Kreme donut ready to be sucked off. Listen, let's get this shit out the way, because the comment basically was like, How are you glazing over Kazuya when he has a 13 frame punish and you main Lee? That's like glazing over a dude that stole your girl. First off, nobody can steal your girl. She was never yours in the first place. Nigga, if I'm ever walking down the street, walking to my own theme music, like I'm WWE's Intercontinental Champion, and I spot my girl, big ass air quotes, with another nigga, nigga, I'm walking up to him and asking him for his number. Maybe he can disassemble me behind a Walmart parking lot, giving me the Belle Delphine e-girl Zontan so many tentacles face. Nigga, like, thank you. Like, she could have wasted my time for years. But then you, the biggest daddy of them all, came along. And you showed me how much of a thought this girl really is. And for the niggas that try to fight the guy and all this shit, stop wasting your time, my guys. Because while y'all beating the ass hairs out of each other, She's on the sideline laughing of how she played y'all both like I was the flute the Green Ranger uses to summon his Megazord. So instead of looking stupid, how about you dap the nigga up and set up an appointment so y'all can 69 each other? Difficult problems, simple solutions. I think Terrence Howard said that shit. Brian. Nigga looks like what a Terminator would look like in a cyberpunk world. The only nigga that can walk into a barbershop and ask for the Vegeta and can pull it off. Brian, what a gym bro would look like in a dystopian future. If you inspect the dick tips of all Brian mains, like you're playing a Bethesda game, all them shits have some type of rug burn on it. Those things drag more than a bride's wedding dress. It's so long. Dicks longer than an American interstate. Brian mains are so fucking cool, bro. Brian's character model walks a thin line to where he looks edgy enough to where it's still cool but not too edgy to where he reminds you of all the fueled by ramen rock bands you used to listen to in your emo phase back in high school brian is on the cusp of looking like we live in a society as character he's right at the border trump has a hard on for but hasn't quite crossed but all y'all brian means I just picture all y'all looking like Chris Hellier. And every time y'all see a mirror, y'all start laughing maniacally while ripping off your shirt. Brian means are like that one friend you feel tough around when y'all out and about because a nigga is built like a Miyazaki Presents armored cord mech. So any nigga that even looks at you the wrong way, you feel like you could just RKO right on the spot. And if things don't go as you plan, and as you saw in your dumbass pea brain, you got your Voltron sized friend there to help. Brian is the type of character you get when girls say, I want a nice guy. What that really means when they say that is, I want a nigga that can freaking one hand a minigun and has the Home Depot theme playing 24 seven in that creatine filled brain of his. These are all compliments, just said with a jealousy filled tone. I wish I could walk around with a Majin Buu cosplayed hairline with no shirt, skin tone, the color of Silent Hill maps, throwing scaffolding pipes at unsuspecting OnlyFans cameramen. Nigga, if my last name was Fury and my dick looked like Robocop, I'd be walking around with the ego of 18 men also. Yo, but watching a good Brian player is like watching a nigga solve a 3,000 piece puzzle. Brian mains are so fucking surgical and precise with every move they choose to throw out. They are super calculated, like Drake in 08. Just be stacking positive frames after positive frames, but they don't have anything really cheap they can just throw out. Brian mains usually lose the first set, but during that first set, them niggas downloaded you so crazy, you started looking for a coupon code for Aura, cause the nigga just stole all your freaking data. The second set, your ass became free. So free, you thought you was a new game Nexon just put out. Everything that was landing during that first set doesn't even come close to landing, even once. All your moves, countered. All your frames, denied. All those launchers, sidestepped. All the lows, parried. Nigga, you might as well bend further down to make that tactical insertion you about to get right in your ass a lot smoother. All of Brian's hits. When that nigga punches you, it feels like you just got hit by an army of iron giants driving cement trucks. Nigga puts the entire mass of earth behind every punch. I know comboing a nigga with Brian must feel so good. If I was a Brian main, I just, if I was a Brian main and I just wall carried a nigga across the map, I would most likely, probably, most definitely, bust all over myself every time I do that to a nigga. And Brian is the only nigga that in the middle of his 
fucking you up gets and or has to taunt in order to continue fucking you up even more. That is so freaking sick. I'm about to bust just thinking about it. Picture this. Your ass is getting juggled like you're trying out for the Ringling Brothers. And while you're in midair, you see the nigga that got you there in the first place gesture you telling you to get the fuck up like you chose to be bent backwards suspended in midair. Nigga. I'm up here because of you, Brian, the only character that can teabag you mid-combo without being canceled. Martha Stewart, 2024. I also love Brian's fighting style. He makes kickboxing look appealing to learn in real life. But then you look at how real life kickboxing looks and you yank your meat like it's a rubber band for that dumbass idea even coming into your lima bean sized brain. And what tops it all off, like how you and your homies be thinking about topping each other off but never do, is that Brian is a far from easy character to use. To connect and string all those Saitama punches together takes freaking time and practice. When niggas be making their tier list about all the Tekken characters with the biggest dicks, I mean, that are the hardest to use, Brian always ends up A tier, if not S, no Ken Masters. And I've noticed that when niggas who've never played a fighting game, let alone a Tekken game, one of the first characters niggas try to be is Brian, just to find out that he's not button mash friendly and that the nigga is hard to use. So y'all Brian means y'all should be proud for putting in the time and effort it takes to be competent with that character. Brian is just a badass fighting game character and the players who pilot him to bring out his badassery to the fullest, we shall all line up to give their balls a little fondle. They deserve it. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to chill with me. And remember, we're out here uploading weekly. So subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when a new video drops or not. I'm not your flight attendant, Juanita. Nah, for real though. Thanks for watching. Mary Spender is my wife, and remember, anything is possible. God first. Dallas to New York, chica, we the best.